Bran continues to experience strange dreams as he is tutored in leadership at Winterfell by Maester Lewin. He dreams that he is summer as the direwolf roams the godswood and sees his reflection in the pond there. He has Osha accompany him out to look in the pond himself and is reassured that his waking reflection is his own, aware of the red comet above him. Osha tells him multiple theories that she had heard, before stating that it is a symbol of the return of dragons to the known world. However, Bran states that all the dragons are dead. He again dreams that he is the wolf. This time Summer enters his bedchamber and he sees himself awakening through the wolf's eyes. He discusses the dream with Maester Lewin who reassures him that magic has been absent from the world for centuries. However, he does mention that he once heard of beings who could implement themselves in the minds of animals. Bran dreams of the three-eyed raven again and seeks advice from Osha. She questions him further and he reveals another dream about the sea flooding Winterfell and drowning Winterfell and its people, including Sir Roderick Castle. She does not offer any explanation and leaves abruptly. After providing two orphans to a farmer in return for room and board, Sir Roderick brings news that Torrens Square has been besieged and Bran orders him to take the remaining garrison to relieve the siege. Bran is awoken by Theon, who tells him that he has seized Winterfell. Theon tells Bran that he should yield the castle to protect his people. Bran reluctantly complies with a public announcement. Roderick is captured on his return from Torrens Square. He insults Theon, calling him a traitor to Ned, and spits at him. Theon is pressured to execute him by his men. Theon ignores Bran's pleas and carries out a botched execution. Osha tells Bran that his dream came true. The Iron Islands, represented as the sea in the dream, have come to Winterfell. Bran escapes with Osha's help. They are accompanied by his brother Rickon, their direwolves and Hodor. They flee as far as a nearby farm. Theon tracks them with hounds but loses their scent at the farm. He returns to Winterfell with two charred corpses, displaying them publicly and claiming that they are Bran and Rickon. Meanwhile, Bran and Rickon doubled back, using a stream to mask their scent and are hiding under Theon's nose in the crypts of Winterfell. Bran overhears Lewin telling Osha that the bodies must be Jack and Billy, the two orphan boys that he had previously assigned to a sister shepherd. They remain in hiding as Winterfell is besieged by an army of Northmen. The Ironborn flee and the Starks emerge from the crypts to find that their home has been sacked and abandoned. They find Lewin dying in the Godswood and he urges them to go north to find their half-brother John at Castle Black who will protect them. Bran makes a tearful farewell to his mentor and they follow his last piece of counsel.